Okay, in this video we're going to do an unboxing of a cable card tuner. This is an external device and I actually chose an external device because I wanted to use this with a variety of PCs, whether it be a laptop or a desktop, home theater PC, whatever. So I wanted the flexibility of having an external device. And this device actually has three tuners in it, so you can record three programs at the same time. So I'm excited to open this up, so let's get to it. Now I picked up this device from Newegg, which is one of my favorite places to buy computer equipment, Newegg.com. The other one is Tiger Direct. But I got a better deal on Newegg. I got it for $150 shipped. Actually $149.99. So without any further ado, let's open this thing up and see what's on the inside here. Now, just so we get the specifics down, this is a Silicon Dust HDHR3-CC cable card TV tuner. That's according to the shipping label or the packing list. Let's pull this out here. You get a little flyer from Newegg back to school. It's around that time of year, at least when this video was filmed. So right here you see cable card HD Home Run Prime. So let's take a quick tour of the box. Obviously, like I said, it's a cable card tuner. You can access premium cable TV channels from any computer in your home network. So what's interesting about this device is that you don't have to connect it to one PC in and of itself. You can connect it to your home wireless network, and of course you have to put the cable card in there, provided by your local cable provider. And you can access the tuners on this from any computer you have on your home wireless network. So you could have two computers running at the same time recording different channels, which is pretty cool. And it says here it's compatible with Windows 7, although I do think it is compatible with other computers, but we'll get into that at a later date. Let's open this up. You get a little window here on the device, and it's actually fairly small, which is pretty good. Much smaller than my current cable card tuner, which is an old ATI version and uh, it was very large and it ran very hot. Now I assume this is going to run very hot as well. That's also a reason why I chose an external card or an external cable card tuner, but I'll have plenty of venting so that shouldn't be a problem. So let's close this up here. So I don't know, let's just take a look at the back here. It says three digital tuners anywhere on your network. And bullet points here are premium cable TV through your cable card. Watch cable TV from any computer on your network. Record full 1080i broadcast resolution. Watch, pause, record, and rewind live TV. Schedule and record all your favorite TV shows. And expand with multiple HD home run devices. And the TV sources, digital cable TV, works with popular DVR software. I'm going to be using Windows Media Center. Uh, it says Windows 7, Windows Media Center here. Record all your favorite TV shows by name. Schedule future or season recordings. Integrated TV guide provided by the DVR software. Never miss your favorite show. Works with existing HD home run units, so you can double this up, triple this up. Personally, three tuners will be more than enough for me, because I rarely run into a situation where there's two shows at the same time. But I do want to set this up where I can use this device to power the three TVs in my house. That's the real reason why I went to three TV tuners. Because as long as I have a Windows Media Extender device or a computer hooked up to one of the other TVs, then I can independently change the channel on that television. But we'll get into that at a, at a later date. Uh, let's see, works with existing home run units. HD Home Run Prime can be added to existing home run or HD home run devices to allow for additional tuners in your home network. Allows multiple signal input sources on the same network and adds premium channels to your home network. And it shows you an overview of the device. You have your cable in, you have a USB input here it looks like, you have your Ethernet port here, you have your power port, and then you have your cable card here. And it uses M card. And that is provided from your local cable provider. So let's open this thing up and actually get some hands-on time with this device. Actually, let's turn it this way. 
pull it out. As we saw in the window box there, you have two sections here. You have the device itself and then you have the cords. Let's quickly run through the cords. You have a coaxial cable cord here. You have an ethernet cord. You have your home run software here. And you have some documentation here. And then of course you have your power cord right here. So here's the device itself and let's see how this comes out here. Nice and compact. You have some more documentation under here, FCC information. You have a lot of venting on this device, as you do with a lot of these cable card tuners, at least that I've discovered. Up top here, you have your venting. It's all made out of a matte black plastic. You have your HD home run branding embossed into the top here. On the side, you have some venting. On this side, you also have some venting. And on the bottom, you have some more venting. Now the back, we took a little preview of it on the box there, but you have your cable in, a USB port here, you have your Ethernet port here, your power port, and your cable card slot right there. And again, it's M card only. On the front, you have some LEDs. I really don't know because they're not labeled at this time. I assume these three are for the three different tuners involved on the device. So it's a nice device, nice size, can pretty much put it in the palm of your hand, not too big, and uh, like I said, it's got a lot of venting on it, so it probably runs pretty hot, but in my case, I don't have to worry about that because I have a lot of venting. And I'm just saying that from experience about the heat. Maybe it's not going to run that hot, we'll see. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. As always, if you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.